From dunking to dining, the incredible story of NBA player Junior Bridgman and his 100-plus Chili's restaurants. From draining three-pointers to cooking up three-course meals, Junior Bridgman has proven that he's not just a one-trick pony. With over 100 Chili's restaurants under his belt, this basketball legend has shown us that success can be served up on a plate, with sides of salsa and chips, of course. So buckle up and get ready to hear the deliciously entertaining story of Junior Bridgman and his slam dunking journey from the court to the kitchen. Once upon a time, in the small town of East Chicago, Indiana, a young boy named Junior Bridgman discovered his love for basketball. He spent more time on the court than in the classroom, and he would even shoot hoops in his sleep if he could. His passion for the sport was so intense that he would often dream of slam dunking over his teachers. Junior's dedication paid off, and he became a star player on his high school basketball team. His skills were unmatched, and he could jump so high that he once blocked a shot from an airplane passing overhead. Okay, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you get the point. Junior's success in high school basketball caught the attention of the University of Louisville, where he was offered a scholarship to play for the Cardinals. As a freshman, Junior quickly established himself as a key player on the team. During his sophomore year, Junior and his team made it to the NCAA championship game, where they faced off against the legendary UCLA Bruins. Despite putting up a good fight, the Cardinals narrowly lost the game. But don't worry, Junior's spirits weren't shattered. He bounced back like a basketball and was soon on his way to a career in the NBA. In 1975, Junior Bridgman was selected as the eighth overall pick in the NBA draft by the Los Angeles Lakers. However, fate had other plans for him, and he was soon traded to the Milwaukee Bucks, where he spent most of his NBA career. Junior quickly established himself as a valuable player on the Bucks roster. He was known for his consistent scoring and his ability to create opportunities for his teammates. During his time with the Bucks, Junior helped lead the team to several playoff appearances, including two trips to the Eastern Conference Finals. In 1984, Junior was traded to the Los Angeles Clippers, where he played for one season before retiring from basketball. But Junior wasn't one to rest on his laurels. No, sir. No, sir. He had big plans for his life after basketball. Junior Bridgman was always a man with a plan, even during his playing days in the NBA. He had an entrepreneurial spirit that was unrivaled. While other players spent their off-seasons relaxing on beaches or partying in Las Vegas, Bridgman was hard at work managing his gas station and car wash business in his hometown of East Chicago, Indiana. Yes, you heard that right. Junior Bridgman, the high-flying basketball superstar, was also a gas station and car wash tycoon. And he didn't just own the businesses, he managed them himself. He was a hands-on kind of guy, and his dedication to his businesses showed in their success. The gas station and car wash business taught Bridgman valuable lessons in business management, such as how to handle finances, manage employees, and provide top-notch customer service. Little did he know that these skills would prove to be invaluable in the future. As if owning a gas station and car wash business wasn't enough, Bridgman's entrepreneurial spirit led him to purchase Wendy's franchise during his playing career. It was a bold move, but Bridgman had always been interested in the restaurant industry, and he saw potential in the franchise. But Bridgman wasn't content to simply own a franchise. He wanted to be involved in every aspect of the business. He worked closely with his employees and management team to ensure that the franchise was successful. He was determined to learn everything he could about the industry, from the art of food preparation to supply chain management. Bridgman's success with Wendy's franchise sparked his interest in the restaurant industry even further. He knew that the industry was on the rise and had immense potential. He was hooked and he wanted more. Retiring from the NBA in 1987 was a big moment for Bridgman, but it wasn't the end of his story. It was just the beginning of a new chapter. Bridgman knew that he had the skills and experience to make a successful transition from basketball to business. So he did what any self-respecting entrepreneur would do. He got to work. In 1988, Bridgman bought his first Chili's restaurant. That's right, the man who used to dunk basketballs over seven-foot-tall defenders was now in the restaurant business. But he didn't just want to be any restaurant owner. He wanted to create something special. He wanted to create a dining experience that was unique, memorable, and delicious. Bridgman's decision to pursue business opportunities after retiring from the NBA was a reflection of his entrepreneurial spirit and his desire to create something new. He knew that he had the skills and experience necessary to make a successful transition. 
and he was determined to make it happen. Bridgman's business philosophy was simple yet effective. Treat people right and the rest will follow. He understood that a successful business wasn't just about making money, it was about building a brand that people could trust and feel good about. He was like the MVP of customer service, always going above and beyond to make his customers feel appreciated. Bridgman also knew the importance of giving back to the community. He was always looking for ways to support local charities and organizations, proving that he wasn't just in it for the money. He believed that a business had a responsibility to make a positive impact on the world, and he put his money where his mouth was. Bridgman's dedication to his business philosophy paid off big time. His company, Bridgman Foods, grew to own over 100 chili restaurants across the United States. That's right, 100. And it wasn't just because of his basketball skills, although they probably didn't hurt. Bridgman understood that the key to success was staying ahead of the game. He was always looking for ways to innovate and improve the customer experience, introducing new menu items and implementing technology to streamline the ordering process. He was like the LeBron James of the restaurant industry, always one step ahead of the competition. In the end, Bridgman's success wasn't just about making money or owning a bunch of restaurants. It was about building a brand that people could trust and feel good about. It was about treating his employees like family and giving back to the community. And that's why he's a Hall of Famer both on and off the court. Junior Bridgman is not a basketball superstar and a restaurant mogul. He is also a philanthropist who has dedicated his life to giving back to his community. You might think that his philanthropic work started after he retired from the NBA, but no. Junior has been doing it for years, even when he was still playing ball. He was always there to lend a helping hand at local charities and fundraising events. Junior's commitment to giving back did not stop when he retired from the NBA. In fact, it only intensified. He became involved in various nonprofit organizations, such as the Boys and Girls Club, the YMCA, and the Salvation Army. He even established his foundation, the Bridgman Charitable Group, to support charitable organizations in the Milwaukee area. Junior's philanthropic work earned him numerous awards and recognitions, including the United Way of Greater Milwaukee's Philanthropic Five Award. Junior Bridgman's dedication to giving back is something that we can all learn from. In a world that is so focused on material wealth and success, Junior reminds us that we should also be concerned with helping others and making a positive impact in our communities. His life is a testament to the fact that success is not just about what we achieve for ourselves, but also what we do for others. Apart from his philanthropic work, Junior Bridgman is also committed to promoting entrepreneurship and education. He believes that these two things are crucial in creating opportunities for the youth and helping them achieve their full potential. That's why he established the Bridgman Scholars Program, which provides scholarships and mentorship opportunities for deserving high school students in the Milwaukee area. But the Bridgman Scholars Program is not your ordinary scholarship program. It's not just about the money. It's a comprehensive program that focuses on the student's holistic development. Junior Bridgman wants to give scholars not only the means to pursue a higher education, but also the tools to succeed in their chosen career paths. The program includes mentoring, the leadership development, as well as opportunities for internships and job shadowing. Junior Bridgman's commitment to promoting entrepreneurship and education has not gone unnoticed. He's received several awards and recognition for his work, including getting inducted into the Kentucky Entrepreneur Hall of Fame. Through the Bridgman Scholars Program, Junior Bridgman hopes to create a ripple effect in his community. He wants to inspire the scholars to give back to their communities, just as he did. Junior believes that the program's impact goes beyond the individual scholars and extends to their families and the wider community. The program has produced successful graduates who have gone on to pursue their careers and give back to their communities. Let's dig into some spicy inspiration and motivational tips that we can all learn from Junior Bridgman's journey. Never stop learning. Junior Bridgman is the perfect example of how you can ball on the court and in the classroom. While he was killing it in the NBA, he was also pursuing a degree in business management. Talk about being a double threat. You know what they say, brains and brawn. Count me in. The more you know, the more you grow. Embrace change. You may think that once you've made it, that's it. But not Junior Bridgman. He embraced change like a baby embracing its first taste of chili. After retiring from the NBA, he decided to spice things up and venture into the food industry. Now he owns over 100 chili restaurants. I mean, who wouldn't want to own a restaurant where you can have a blooming onion and a margarita? Don't be afraid to try new things. You never know where it might take you. Work hard and be persistent. Success doesn't just fall into your lap like a side of queso. 
Junior Bridgman had to put in the work and be persistent. He started with one restaurant and kept expanding until he had over 100. That's like going from being a bench warmer to an all-star MVP. Keep pushing and hustling until you reach your goals. We all know that basketball players have impressive athletic abilities, but it takes a special kind of talent to transition from the court to the business world. And Junior Bridgman has definitely shown us that he's got what it takes. So if you ever find yourself chowing down on some delicious fajitas or sipping on a margarita at Chili's, just remember, there's a good chance that a former NBA player had a hand in bringing that meal to your table. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing stories from the world of basketball and beyond. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be inspired to go from slam dunks to serving up some killer nachos yourself. Until then, keep on balling.